It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on IDCC, Interdigital Incorporated. Um, I've been following this one for a long time. If you follow my video charts, you've seen me do videos on this one numerous times. Uh, I want to get this updated after I've had some requests for it in terms of where does the chart stand after uh, you know this action right here that's um, occurred. So I'm just going to do a quick little video, uh, map out where the near-term supports, resistances are, and so forth, and uh, then kind of go over uh, what sorts of things you want to see and don't want to see. Uh, we'll just start off with support. And actually what you have to do to find where this kind of support is right now, and I should note that it was good action today uh, in regards to uh, where this current support is. But you can see here we had a low, and obviously that one's been broken. Uh, this low was similar, that's been broken. Uh, this low here is actually uh, the low that we want to uh, see so what I'm going to do is use a, a nice horizontal line so we can get a, a good little um, accurate but as you can see what I am doing is using this low right here um, as the support level and when I zoom back in keep in mind that this blue line actually let's just make it green right now that way you can uh, know which line or where this line's coming from we'll make it green for support make it a little thicker and keep in mind we're using this low uh, as support and that's you know that's what support levels are previous lows were um, you know the price has bounced so zooming back in you can see that uh, the charts actually done a nice job right here we have a hammer candle that's formed and it's also formed obviously right at uh, this support level so does that mean that the thing is going to skyrocket back up no does it mean that this could be a possible bottom to this downwards move yes but as always with hammer candles and uh, those sorts of candlesticks, you need to see confirmation. Um, but using the combination of candlesticks in conjunction with um, support levels, we clearly have a possible bottoming candle. And when these occur, like I said, at support levels, you know, that's that's what you want to see. And that's showing you that there's a, a chance that this, uh, you know, might be ready to go back up. As always, confirmation is required. Um, but, you know, this is better than seeing, obviously, a, a big day, big red day like uh, this one right here. So how do we measure? Let's say it starts to go back up. The question then becomes, well, how do we really know when it becomes a strong bounce and so forth? Well, I think the easiest way to kind of judge is just simply watch how it reacts around this previous support level, which has now become resistance. Uh, if you're new to charting, support levels automatically become resistances when they're broken. So this was... Uh, support level it was broken obviously on this day so it's now become resistance so let me make that red and if the price can come up here and get some closes above this level so uh, that's a bad candle here that's a little better candlestick but if you can get some candlesticks that are closing above there then I would say you know what this has been a nice little strong move I mean would there still be work that would be required of course but um, you know, it'd be good kind of confirmation that, you know, a good chance that this was the final bottom down here after this uh, steep um, drop. So this is the level right here, um, right at about, uh, you know, uh, let's see what that level's at. Uh, let's see, these. this low here is at uh, 2064, 2066. So for argument's sake, let's just say 2065 um, is going to be a level where, if the price can get up there, it's going to be very interesting and very telling how the price reacts when it gets up to that level. Um, now, let's say this level falls. I've gotten a question saying, you know, well, where next support level is at. Um, pretty much after this level here, what we have is a support level right in this area. You can see that we had a bottom here. Uh, these lows are all right about the $18. And then if this area fails, then your next support level is going to be down in this area which is at about 1650 we'll say. Um, I'm not going to mark those out uh, because, you know, that's just right now the support level is holding, um, but those are going to be the next two possible support levels. Right now, and from the requests I've got, people are more concerned with kind of current action, and from that perspective, you know, let's just keep an eye on this 2065 level if the price can bounce up there, and depending on how the price reacts, you know, that'll tell us a lot about, um, you know, the strength of the chart. The next resistance level I've after that is just the top of this but once again I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves let's just focus on what needs to happen right now so uh, if anything you know maybe some sideways action here would be pretty good um, before hopefully a bounce upwards but 
uh, you know, only time will tell. So tomorrow will be uh, important, and next week will be very important in terms of trying to get a grasp on what this chart wants to do. Um, so I'll be watching it closely, and you know, hopefully this uh, has given people an idea of what sorts of things uh, to look for. If you do have any other questions on it, uh, please shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the emailer, you will be sent a free ebook, which has been getting a very good reviews. And with your subscription, you'll get bullish chart setups, uh, trade ideas, educational things, a nice variety of everything from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's something for everybody. No strings attached. It is all free, so it's worth at least checking out. One more time, this was IDCC. Uh, thanks for listening. Let me know if you have any questions.